U.S. Representative Keith Ellison pushed back Friday against allegations of domestic abuse, saying his accuser fabricated the story about him. The Minnesota Democrat also dismissed a medical record that named him as the abuser, but said he can't be sure more people won't cook up allegations against him. Ellison appeared on a televised debate for the Minnesota Attorney General's position, where he faced grilling on the allegations raised by ex-girlfriend Karen Monaghan, who said he sent her threatening text messages and once screamed obscenities at her as he dragged her off a bed by her feet. Keith Ellison domestic violence accuser posts 2017 medical document identifying Democrat as abuser. On Wednesday, Monaghan published a medical document where a doctor wrote that Monaghan states that she was in a very stressful environment for years, emotional and physical abuse by a partner with whom she is now separated. She identifies the individual she was involved with as Congressman Ellison, and she is worried about retribution if she identifies him publicly, the document added. Ellison, who serves as deputy chair of the Democratic National Committee DNC, decried Monaghan's story as not true and assured that an ongoing investigation will conclude that Monaghan's claims are false. He dismissed the medical record, saying it was written a year after his relationship with Monaghan ended. When pressed whether the investigation will be done before the election, Ellison said it's an independent investigation and he remains uncertain about the timetable. It's not an independent investigation. It's independent by your friends and fellow party members. Thought's not an independent investigation. Republican AG candidate Doug Wardlow. But his Republican opponent Doug Wardlow wasn't satisfied with Ellison's answer, saying Monaghan's claims won't be reviewed by an actual independent investigator. It's not an independent investigation.